In 1951, along with many other European machines, four ADN tractors were imported. Manufactured in France by Assier de Nord, the name was shortened to Nord in Australia. The ADN 61 had a German three-cylinder diesel engine, its top speed was about 8 k's in fourth gear. ADNs did not live up to their reputation under Australian conditions and imports ceased. Ollis Chalmers was already a company of significant standing with the most advanced tractors in the world when they arrived here. Committed to thorough research, they had previously visited Australia and studied our farming conditions. In 1929, the three models on offer, the U, the 1525 and the 2035, claimed to cover all Australian farming needs. The WC, in its distinctive Persian orange colour, came along in 1933. Rated at 24 horsepower, it worked well under all conditions. During the Second World War, when imports had all but stopped, the WC was still available to approved applicants. The trials that became known as the Australian Tractor Testing Scheme had their beginnings in 1918. They were organised by the Royal Agricultural Society of Victoria, the University of Melbourne and the State Research Farm at Werribee. Five out of eight tractors involved were Australian made. The trials continued in an ad hoc fashion around the country, but the results remained unofficial. At the same time, Australian politicians were invited to both attend and participate in the English tractor tests at Lincolnshire. Our politicians, however, didn't see the point in doing either. Farmers and tractor dealers knew better. They persisted in lobbying for official trials to be set up as English and American tests did not reflect Australian conditions. Twenty odd years later, Eureka! Late in 1945, the Chamberlain 40KA tractor, then under development, was given a trial on the Albert Park Lake circuit. This became Australian tractor test number one. From 1946 onwards, the official Australian trials were held at the Werribee Research Farm in Victoria, and the tests were organised by the Aeronautical Research Laboratory. These tests were based on the American Nebraska trials. The full results were published and shorter versions were printed in the rural press. As the years went by, the reports became more complex and complaints were received from farmers who found them useless. Testing continued in various forms until 1976 when problems with funding forced their closure. In all, 86 tractors were tested. The Swedish Avance tractor was imported by A.H. McDonnell and Company from 1927 till 1930. It had a two-stroke, hot bulb, semi-diesel engine rated at 30 to 35 horsepower. The Avance's selling points were its simple and solid design. It was made for the big jobs with pulling power equal to a team of 14 horses. There was one major flaw. The tractor's two-bearing crankshaft, despite printed claims, proved to be inadequately supported and failed. The reason given was that the Australian fuel was heavier. The floor was eventually fixed with extra bearings installed as a matter of course on all advances. McDonnell and Company sold around a hundred of these tractors before abandoning the import business to concentrate on developing their own tractor.